Welcome everyone to an additional uh, security debriefing here to the pound kit local privilege escalation vulnerability discovered uh, recently and disclosed some days ago. CVE 2021, yes, <laughs> 2022 CVE is still from 2021. 4034 pound kit yesterday's video. Uh, some new developments, and so this is embarrassing, and also what. Um, makes me what made me already not not recently but already for quite some years for a decade in the making uh, increasingly makes me lose my faith into open source mm, security stability the year of the Linux desktop and in general the state of security but this time it's not only the C language right my recurring shout out here of now don't even try um, C is difficult right sure C you doesn't obstruct most glorified assembler preprocessor portable is portable assembler preprocessor allows you to do everything and uh, easily shoot yourself into the food as seen here regularly but the crazy thing is so this is not even new right i outlined for, for the details yesterday's video i outlined already mm, probably a lot if not all details but the story developed even further i saw on twitter people like uh, yeah but well this was already known since 2013 Freaking, what, what is even the job of the Linux Foundation of, of Red Hat and Oracle, broken Linux and stuff? Um, that, yeah, arc v silliness here um, from Ryron, so at least that is uh, Ryron, yeah, there, block. And summarizing, summarizing the same thing here, most C programmers should be aware that arc v, like, yeah, like I mentioned yesterday, right? Policy kit, like major security policy components of Linux distributions for the last decades that I don't agree with to start with, but argument handling is in C, right? We are not even speaking about a kernel, about um, crazy modern IOU ring or other complex security and algorithm stuff. No, argument, like like the beginner's, mis uh, the beginner's mm, introduction to C, beginner's mistake of, yes, C is so difficult uh, even argument handling is a challenge. Null terminate list of strings, where the first element is the name of the program as seen rested, right? It, it, this, is, this is so silly, this is so simple, so silly that, that it is so embarrassing. And a lot of people will sugarcoat this like, yeah, look, the open source model is working and 10,000 eyes and we find everything. Yes, we find everything. And for nearly a decade or longer, 2013 to 2022, um, People don't do anything, right? Why was this not more properly handled, handled I have to ask. And as yesterday I mentioned, yesterday even I, um, <laughs> I hear on my tiny little corner of the internet, I mentioned just while I was presenting it, newscasting it to you, I was saying yesterday, maybe the kernel should not allow to run a program with arc v, um being null and having no content and while and it turned out even it i think it was mentioned here or somewhere open bsd um like yeah last minute note also with bsds however we know not that open bsd is not exploitable because the kernel refuses like yeah no no kidding like what stopped the bare minimum of the kernel um, refusing to exec the program with arc is zero right so simple and it turned out, so I, as not being Linus Torvalds and running my monolithic single address space kernel written in C for 30 years, I noticed that on my hobby of presenting security vulnerabilities and, and stuff and low level things here, I, I noticed this trivial stuff that obviously other people like OpenBSD have noticed and two, 2013, other people have been there, done that, wrote a blog post, um, and even recommend don't use it like this, right? Allows to execute an application with arc v0 equals null. Many applications, inclu uh, including several set UID applications, make the assumption that arc v0 is always a valid pointer, right? Let, like, as I said yesterday, sure, these are edge cases, sure. You need to do infosec and you need to do security analysis and you need to, like, really look carefully. Um, but yet it is a super tribal beginner's mistake in a policy security component of Linux distributions. And while 
uh, they haven't found any potential exploits using this. It does allow for some amusing behavior from set UID binaries, right? And with such a blog post, which I'm not sure if they escalated it properly 2013, but which such findings, I have to wonder what are the security experts in the Linux community, in the Linux Foundation, doing? Because turns out someone even filed a bug report even earlier, 2007, as early as freaking 2007. So nearly um, 15 years into this, right, someone filed here bug Linux kernel bugzilla bug 8408 exactly wrongly permits argv and environment p to be null although the title not entirely it turns out environment, environment pointer could potentially be null but the rest still stands argv to be null right 15 years so i have to wonder what um i can't make a living of open source and stuff yet high profile people red hat suze um ubuntu oracle broken linux and so on and Michael Kersk presented here most recent kernels. Um, where is this bug? It did not occur. Yeah, also blah, yada, yada, whatever. So problem description. The current Linux implementation of exec VE permits that argv and NV environment, so argument um, and environment pointer arguments to be null with the same meaning as if they were pointers to list containing of a single null pointer. Example. Uh, following uh, equivalent of uh, character array with a null entry and um, exec VE. Now, uh, the second form is non standard, uh, single Unix uh, version 3 requires argv and nymp each to be a null terminated array of pointers to character strings on most other Unix systems, FreeBSD, Solaris. The second of the above form will cause exec.ve to fail with an error of eFault. However, Hewlett Packard UX11, HP UX11 behaves the same as Linux, but Hewlett Packard UX is among the least conformant of the traditional systems. Linux should do the same recommendations. So, recommendation in 2007, right? Linux should do the same and eFault. Um, if this is true, also uh, later turns out uh, there was a little bit of discussions like yeah, it, it was rejected. The, the reason this was rejected, um, and yes, the bug report is not entirely correct, and the patch is also not entirely correct, but the spirit, the finding, the report was there, right? Ignored recurring theme. Yes, we have randomized address spaces, we have a non-executable this, and we have we have all kinds of crazy stuff, right? But the the, the simplest argument array parsing size null to minute. and I'm of course I'm aware that this does not prevent all security things it, it's just it's adding up right we see everything is adding up there is this little thing that little thing there are there are little things all over the place this is why every day we have major security vulnerabilities so um, except not using C obviously for anything mission critical or otherwise security related it's like this small things should have been done for decades, and they are not for 30 years. I'm not sure if Ellen is Ellen Cox or um, who, who this Ellen is. Maybe it's Ellen Cox, maybe it isn't. Uh, this isn't a kernel bug address series mapped, which is, by the way, this is also not entirely true, but um, points on page which contains null and starts up. Uh, it's, it's also not. So maybe this Ellen isn't some other, other Ellen because Ellen Cox probably should have known better. But um, so the bug was closed, uh, maybe by, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Um, and so the, this was rejected, um, except probably the best would be to dis post and discuss this in LKML general discussion. Um, but th it was also rejected with changing the ABI. Um, was it? Ah, here. Singling to track the re relevant discussion 14 oh, 2020. Um, interesting. Um, so this is apparently maybe not discussed. I think this appeared like, is this today, maybe, whatever. Um, I saw it somewhere changing. Ah, here, maybe, here's AB, ABI change. Ah, here. Um, so the original reporter writes, changing Linux to conform will result in an ABI change for user land. And um, I would, um, so 
the spec doesn't say what has to happen if you pass invalid values. Um, it is an ABI change and that makes it seem rather excessive for a philosophical point upon which no app will depend on receiving e fault for normal, in normal use. It's like a philosophical point and 10 years, 15 years later we are here, major security vulnerabilities because they are philosophical and changing. I would, I would have argued um, and also you can't argue each hey, this is not perfect, like, let's maybe make this a little bit more strict to exactly prevent disasters to happen, um, which now they did. And um, the stuff should not always be reactive 15 years later. The stuff should have been proactive. And I would argue each little, well, except not writing stuff in C, right? Um, because more memory safe languages can help you prevent you shooting into your own food. Each small step, each small improvement should have been done. And this is, I would argue, this is not a ABI change. This is just like nobody should have done this. If your old program has done this for that, like basically there is not really a valid reason to, exec, to execute your program without a proper argument list for example, including one first entry of the program name. So given it's not really ABI breakage, it's just ABI correction of even if it randomly or even if some old man page said, this is an optimization for no arguments, which I'm not sure if ever did, but I would, I would have argued for the sake of stability and security, it's not really an ABI change for valid applications. It's just similar to compilers using implementation defined behavior to optimize stuff, I would say, sure, this might not have been super 100% very strictly defined in the specification, but it's clearly not the intention and clearly waiting for disasters and shooting yourself into your own food waiting to happen, which now it does. This did. And so ironically, 2013, um, this, this is not even yeah, this, this is some theoretically philosophical thing. He even, uh, Ry, Ry, Ron, no, sorry for the name pronunciation, uh, something. He even GDB that example, he even presented an example for that with policy kit. So someone did, with probably some quick research, found the next best set UID uh, program executable here and presented exactly that. What, what we now see, um, seven, was it seven years, 2000 years, like some seven years later, um, exactly that, right? So exactly this bug in policy kit exec was presented, although he did not really result to this conclusion that this can be exploited, but he already shown, hey, this is, clearly not um, the best thing to happen and behave like that. And so, yeah, um, just another follow up on this, even more crazier details. And this is, and this happens every month, right? Every month for 20 years, I see some major security vulnerability escalation. Um, I was joking before, maybe I should have gone into InfoSec and like earned, earned hundreds of thousands of security bounties. The thing I've done this big, I, I just don't like, and this is, maybe I would have been more rich if I would have done things that I don't like, because I don't like like peeking around in others, mm, not the most readable C code or uh, machine code executable. So yeah, you do stuff you like and you don't get paid because of open source or you do infosec analy analyze others not outstanding C code, um, but yeah, life choices. Uh, maybe I read, made wrong ones, but this is also over 20 years seeing this every month, right? We have every day with every month. I mean, every month we see something major, something substantially structurally broken as this, um, which is not only policy kit, but in my opinion, also Linux kernel handling this edge case a little bit better. And we have daily security vulnerabilities 
like small ones that only affect one program, which is already bad enough, like one bug in your SMTP server, um, one bug in your IMAP server, one bug, bug in your web browser, one bug in your JavaScript engine, and then every month, so we have this daily, right? Daily multiple security vulnerabilities in all or other bugs like previous news, shout out Microsoft Outlook's uh, year 2022 bug because parsing dates as integers, 32 bit, I think integers, it's like <laughs> seriously kidding me. Um, so we have daily, with all the software out there, we have daily multiple security vulnerabilities and monthly one very outrageous, embarrassingly major structural thing somewhere like this. And after 20 years, you, you are young and naive, you see this like, yeah, okay, shit can happen. But eventually you grow up and you're not young and naive anymore. And seeing this for 20 years is like, you, the whole IT information technology landscape is like fundamentally built on very bit rotten foundations of um, C. <laughs> yeah. Um, we could continue on some more live channel there. This is the main channel, right? If you want to hear more of this stuff, don't forget to like subscribe. We could actually, I, I looked into this, maybe I um, patch our Linux distribution <laughs> to, um, I'm already in the kernel and it's like, yeah. If you want to see this, there's a more live channel. Otherwise, I hope you learned something and hope to see you soon for all the next security vulnerabilities and reviews and stuff.